Ephesians 2.10. And, and I thought I'd read this as a just kind of a closing thought here for tonight. Uh, because it reminds us of a very important you know, truth. Uh, the Bible, the reason that we like to operate on biblical principles is that we find that we get more deeper understanding about business from the Bible than we would with CNBC and the Wall Street Journal. Uh, because the, the real truth is here. And, and God promises, God has great promises that if we'll build our personal lives and then our marriages and homes and our business and professional life around truth that never fails, then it's going to give us a decided advantage against all the other folks that are out there competing against. And so as long as they're reading the Wall Street Journal, and I'm reading from you chapters, uh, Ephesians chapter 2, I feel like we're in, in good company here together. But uh, many scripture verses I can share with you. But uh, this one I'll, I'll read for you here. Ephesians, Paul is talking, he says, he says, for we are God's workmanship. We're God's workmanship. If you accepted the fact that you're God's workmanship, if y'all ever been flipping channels and seen these uh, plastic surgeon uh, programs, I've been flipping channels, I've been seeing some of these plastic surgeon deals where they fix your nose and they, they, they fix your chin and they fix all kind of body parts, you know, underneath the scalpel of this uh, plastic surgeon that y'all fixed up. Well, they, they miss reading Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, because it says, we're God's workmanship. You know, God made you just the way He wanted to make you. And, and some of us have more hair on our heads than, than others do. But that's okay. You know, I had to get on the scales today, and I had a lady asked me how tall I was. I said, well, I'm about five, six. Well, she said, well, you must really wonder when the, when the rain forecast comes. I said, well, you're exactly right, because when it floods, I'm the first one to find out when it floods. Uh, <laughs> some of y'all are slow some of y'all are slow but, uh, but the good thing is you're the last one to find out when it rains when you're, uh, when you're short as I am as well but we're God's workmanship and it says this created in Christ Jesus really recreated when we've been born again recreated in Christ Jesus to do good works second mile service I'll be assisting you to your table may I refresh your beverage it's my pleasure you know we're taking food out to the table and so forth that's God wired us. You know why Christmas is so much fun? It's because it's so much fun to give. And the reason it's so much fun to give is we're never more like God Himself than when we act like He does, and that's because He's the ultimate giver. He's always giving us stuff. You know, we, we you know, God worked through our hands to provide this hot chocolate for you. This is a gift that came from Him. He just kind of put it on our heart to offer hot chocolate. But God said He loves you and He wants to do nice things. You know, for you. So we're God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works. And here's the last part of it. Which he prepared in advance for us to do. In other words, God is getting all of us ready for something in store. Something that's greater in the future for us. And I had no idea. You'll see those two little boys in the black and white picture that's there on those walls. So you'll see those panels with those dorky looking dwarf costumes on them. That's me and my brother when we had hair on our heads back many years ago. And, and you know, rather than walking around with silly pajama bottoms like I've got going on here, mm -hmm. I was walking around in a in a dwarf's costume. And if you have any sense of um, uh, you know self awareness and so forth, you lose it all your inhibitions when you're walking around with a with a dwarf hat on when you're ten years old. Let me tell you. But uh, but God was getting me ready. You know, to do what I'm doing now at the age of 57, he's getting ready for me at the age of 10 to do dumb, crazy, weird things like play the trumpet at midnight, you know, and camping out in parking lots and so forth. He was getting me ready to be an original, to be unique, to be, be different. And that's kind of one of the tones that tempers part of the culture Chick-fil-A is that we try to be different and unique because we realize that God made us uh, as he wants us to be, and he made you as well. Except that, let me just encourage you that that uh, rather than looking in a mirror and getting all bent out of shape about uh, how you comb your hair and all the other kinds of things that we might notice, you know, in a mirror, accept that as God's uh, masterpiece, that you're his masterpiece. Because if you can't accept him that he did that, then you're not going to accept all the other things that he wants to do in your life as well. And he cares that much about you that he made you very, 
very special. And, and don't miss that. Well, we think you're so special tonight. We want to do something special for you. We want to give you a backstage tour of our uh, Chick-fil-A restaurant. How many of you have never been the behind the counter of a Chick-fil-A restaurant? Mr. Duncan, good to see you. So, never been behind the counter of a Chick-fil-A restaurant? Oh, my goodness. Well, tonight, listen, we are giving away free tours, free backstage tours of our restaurant tonight, and we want you to uh, to get in on that. 